Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be a beauty items haul. As I promised you earlier when I did, I cut my hair, I cut trim my own hair. That's the video that I promised that I would do a beauty items haul. And I purchased quite a few things. I didn't go like overboard with my beauty purchase. They are quite the essential things that I need for my full face or nails so without wasting any time let's get into the beauty items haul first up we have this serum the redux serum i have done an unboxing i will link the link to that video up here i did an unboxing of this redux serum and i mentioned in that video that the serum has a liquid consistency it's just like water and your skin will absorb it quickly i've been using this for a week and the results i wouldn't say that i have quite a lot of skin issues or problems or pigmentation besides the fact that i have facial hair but uh, this serum is amazing i don't get breakouts it's not too heavy it's just the right consistency for all skin types if you are a dry skin i wouldn't recommend this but from normal to oily skin this is an amazing product i've been using this like you need just like four to five pumps before you go to bed you make this a part of your regimen and it's amazing i have done this for a week and i really really love it especially that the serum comes in a pump bottle packaging you can get like the right quantity out of it i don't like the droppers i don't trust the droppers some droppers don't work and this pump bottle is so convenient the next item we got here is this night cream it's by pride wellness retinol night cream and the consistency of this cream is right as for me it's like the right consistency it is like slimy and gel like consistency and it smells like fresh watermelon it just has this fresh smell i think this product is a plant-based product if you want a product you know to cover your fine lines or you know any aging spots go for products that have stem cells in it now what stem cells do is they regenerate and rejuvenate the cells of your skin so those products are really good and the packaging if you see it looks like unicorns and leprechauns came together to bring out a product like this i even like this i use these two products before going to bed i first apply the serum then go with this they are so light not too oily for especially skin types i have uh, oily skin if you have oily skin this is the right product for you then coming to foundation i love the wet and wild foundation because the coverage of this foundation is really good wet and wild products are pocket friendly and their makeup is high-end quality i would personally say they are high in quality my last time video i showed you when i applied the wrong shade of foundation my face became white washy like usually i'm the shade ivory i don't know with wet and wild the ivory shade was like a very white washy like situation and for wet and wild my shade is beige soft beige so this is something i like even that i picked ivory shade i mixed when i apply that i didn't go that uh, let that uh, particular foundation go to waste so i mix a shade darker of bb cream because i don't like the cakiness no bb cream are for those people who don't like cakiness of the foundation so you go for a tinted moisturizer or a bb cream that matches your shade and it was it will give that dewy effect without you know giving the cakiness so that is what i did with the ivory shade of wet and wild foundation last time i applied eyeshadow from this palette wet and wild again 
eyeshadow palette from wet and wild any makeup from wet and wild is pocket pocket friendly even their lipsticks are pocket friendly so i have not tried their lipsticks i use maybelline lipsticks but wet and wild i like it last time in my video where i show you how i cut my hair i wore on the intro of that video i wore this shade mixed with this shade so i like this particular shade range of the palette because it has neutral colors and it has got these greens i love the color green i have told it a couple of times in my videos i love the color green that's why because this palette had green color in it i went for this palette and if you apply proper concealer on your top layer over here i don't know what to do do you call it a crease or what i don't know so you apply a concealer a good primer then this is the pigmentation is good enough to let it sit i didn't i'm not a eyeshadow kind of person i usually just apply eyeliner and i'm good to go but for occasions i do use eyeshadow so this is just the right eyeshadow palette, palette for me because it has got neutral shades and the green and brown shade next thing we got here is blush i have my first blush fantastic plastic pink it's a nice pink color pink anything pink suits me i know some people don't like pink color but pink is a very nice color even if you have a lipstick in pink color pink goes with everything so that's why I picked this shade. I think majority of people will pick even this shade. This is apricot in the middle. And these uh, blushes come with this tiny brushes. This just jumped out. So they come in th with this tiny brushes. But I don't see how you can apply blush with these brushes. But you know if you are carrying a blush in your pocket. Just in your pocket or you're in your makeup bag. Just know there's a brush with it but i find it useless using this brush i love a good fluffy brush for blush then coming back to nails i spoke about these the duration of this nail color has been so long so this is the shade that i'm using looks really nice i have two green nail polishes one is like a forest green which has got a slight tint of shimmer in it this has also got a slight tint of shimmer but it, it is seamless it looks really nice i really like this color it is a nice olive neutral color so i really like this color and i wanted this color sometimes when you pick a color online you do not know whether it's going to be the right color and this turned out to be the right color next we have a nice lilac shade so that was another color they look really good on your hands if you wear them i haven't swatched them or worn them but you can see it will look just the same if i applied next nude is something a nude um, nail polish or a nude lipstick is like the safest game you can play when it comes to makeup or any Thing beauty related because if you're going out for a function that is an elegant and formal function nude color and a transparent color clear color is your safest bet so here we got a nudie color and it's something I plan on wearing sometime soon and we got a clear color this is a top or base coat color I like to plainly brush this off on my nails and you know let it be because it look natural nails also look good sometimes i feel like just wearing natural nails and not putting any color so this is like the safest game you can play with you know painting your nails next i brought a bright coral or orange shade when summer is nearing you know you need these colors because i don't know summertime it's too hot and you want to just brighten your mood apply some good makeup and a good nail shade 
brightens your mood even your clothes you can't be wearing black is a very elegant color i personally love black but you know you need some colors in your life just to brighten your mood so that's all for my beauty items haul if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and don't fail to subscribe to my channel your subscriptions would mean a lot to me and stay tuned for my upcoming videos until then bye